Every single time an attractive female character is put into a video game, snowflakes freak out saying their outfits are inappropriate or their body proportions aren't realistic, and ultimately developers need to do better. And of course, now that Street Fighter VI has released and we've seen more content in the game, like all of the character outfits, they are freaking out over Cammy's classic outfit saying it shouldn't be in this game because it's just so gross. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So, of course, this article was posted on none other than The Gamer. Cammy's classic outfit should never have been brought back to Street Fighter. Of course, they needed to find something to complain about, and now they're just going to complain about the outfits. Street Fighter VI has received critical acclaim ahead of its launch this week, and even before we could get our thumbs around it, the character models were generating a lot of discussion. Cammy switched her green iconic, I mean, swimsuit, right? I think it's actually supposed to be a camouflage leotard, but in reality, it was Lycra that barely covered anything. In any case, it was switched out for leggings and a cropped jacket, which covered up uh, her body a lot more, but also looked better on her. Now the old outfit is back and it's gross. I have to defend so many games on this channel because of people like this. They will find anything to complain about. They changed Cammy's default outfit to, again, this one with the jacket and the pants, and it does look pretty good. She is still showing skin, um, but I am very happy that her original outfit is back, and of course, thousands of other Street Fighter fans are as well. I'm very glad they did not, uh, you know, do away with their older, more classic outfits, and they did decide to put them in this game, but of course, people like this are the reason why we can't have nice things in games anymore because they will always find something to complain about. This is not an ew hot outfits on hot women take. The problem is Cammy looks stupid. Oh, of course, they can say it's gross and say, oh, it's not about it being a hot outfit. Oh, it's just stupid. They have changed their position twice in this article already. It says this outfit has always been kind of weird, but the extra details in Street Fighter VI, the solidification of the cartoonish realism the art style aims for, and the game's penchant for dramatic low angles all combine here to make it appear ridiculous. I personally love her original outfit, and thousands of real Street Fighter fans do as well. People like this are the reason why I have to call out game journalists constantly because they say, oh, I love the gaming industry and I love video games. Oh, but let me just attack every single one over tiny stuff like this. If you don't like her original outfit, that's perfectly fine. It's not for everybody. All you have to do, though, is click on a different outfit and equip it, and instead, they're basically rallying for outfits like this to not be in future games, right? Because they're not just saying, oh, I'm just gonna switch to the other one, but I just wanted to voice my concerns for two seconds. They're not like that. They are just attacking it brutally because they hate it. Uh, as they say, they think it looks dorky. They think that come bind with the camera angles as they specifically point out it's just a gross outfit boohoo cry me a river and float upstream once upon a time, I can see how this would have been an attractive look for Cammy. Back before we could see everything, a tight leotard and bare legs was a good fit for her military origins while offering more sex appeal than a frumpy soldier's uniform. But now that we can see so much of it, it's clear that the outfit doesn't work. It's only back for raw fan service, and it no longer has a place in Street Fighter VI. Uh, they try to make fan service out as a bad thing. They try 
try to demonize fan service, especially when it's about portraying anything that's sexy. I mean, they attack it like it's evil, but there's nothing wrong with it. Fan service is a great thing and a reason why so many games blow up in popularity. There are series like Atelier and Neko Para that blew up because of their fan service, and 100%. There is more to Street Fighter than just these outfits and just the fan service, but it is important to a lot of people, and this is where they show their true colors. They're not just saying maybe they should slightly redesign her going forward, or hey, you know what, I might not like this outfit, but at least they have other alternate costumes for her. No, no, they're straight up saying that this outfit should not be in the game at all whatsoever. I am so sick and tired of seeing these people demonize things like sexuality, and a lot of other people are as well, seeing as they are getting absolutely destroyed on Twitter right now. Of course, they decided to post a link to this article, and people are just roasting them. I wish your publication bankruptcy and closure, never have you added anything of value to the discussion. Old outfits returning convinced me to buy the game. Uh, I don't like Cammy's classic outfit either, but I do enjoy how nice her ass looks in them. I hope this is bait, but if it's not, here's a bunch of photos of them. It's not bait. That's the problem with places like The Gamer, okay? These are not just people who are trying to only get hate clicks. They are trying to, yes, get hate clicks, but also have their opinion be so, like, normalized that they don't have to see things like this in video games going forward because ultimately they're just activists, right? That's all that these people are. They are activists. They don't care about gaming or the industry whatsoever. Uh, people posting memes, <laughs> giving them middle finger, uh, you know, Capcom Japan and devs actually gave you two choices and you journalists still complain. And it's true, yeah. I mean, they gave her a more covered up outfit in the game and they also gave the classic one for people that want to show a little bit more skin. And when I talk about, you know, video games, I always say players should have as many options as possible. And I think that this is a fantastic way to give everybody what they want, right? You could show less skin. You could show more skin. You could use her original outfit. You could use the slightly newer updated outfit. They're both pretty freaking good. Okay. And this is what people should want in video games are options. But of course, this journalist is finding something to complain about. They always freaking do. And I'm glad that they're getting destroyed over this because they deserve it. I talk about the gamer a lot. Unfortunately, it's never for positive reasons. They're always putting up hit pieces like this, and I do like to cover them. I like to destroy the things that they're saying, and so do other people judging by the comment section. But yes, the gamer is now complaining about Cammy's classic outfit saying it has no place in Street Fighter 6 and basically that the company should remove it uh, as soon as possible. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.